step six, now we have to assign the people load, the lighting load, and the power load. So how do you assign these loads to your spaces? So to assign the load, what you can do, you can uh, select the space. And when you select it in the properties browser, here you have the people load. You can edit it from here, heat gain per person and the occupancy. And here you have electrical loads, that is lighting and power, okay? Or else what you can do, you can go to the HVAC schedule and you can define your space type, okay? So once you define your space type, it will automatically take the people load, the lighting load and the power load. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to you have to define the space type first. Let's say these these two are for the classrooms. Okay, these are the classrooms. So uh, I'll select this, and I'll select classroom, lecture training. Similarly for this one, classroom, lecture training. It's a uh, storage. So I I'll just check it at which storage it is. So when you select this uh, uh the storage row here we have an option highlight in model so it will highlight in the model so this this is storage where we don't have any occupancy right so I'll just uh, select these two storage or else you can modify it from the schedules as well storage so when you type storage. We have active storage, we have inactive storage. So it's an inactive storage. There is no occupancy, okay? If it, if it is occupied uh, storage, you can specify the active storage. So inactive storage, click okay. Next we have conference. So I'll type conference. We have a space type with the conference. Conference meeting, multipurpose. So I'll, I'll select this conference meeting, oblique uh, multipurpose, click okay. Then again, we have storage. So I'll select the inactive storage. Reception. So do we have any reception? Reception oblique waiting models. Okay. So same I'll take. Now we have office. These offices. So I'll select office. Now we have two office open plan, office enclosed. So office enclosed means the rooms. Open plan means the cubicle type, the open open uh, floor, open floors, uh, where we have the cubicles. So th those are open plan. But in our project, we have we have uh, rooms enclosed. That means enclosed rooms. So uh, if you want to define these all at once, you can select these three. Go to the properties browser here you can define the space type click on this uh, office and closed click OK when you go to the schedule it will highlight office and closed right so this we have break room break room so for break room with that name we don't have any do we have any with the cafeteria? Okay, we don't have the cafeteria. So for that one, you can define with any, okay, 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 okay. Let's say uh, I will select for this break room that's the dining area. Okay, click OK. Then we have mechanical room. So for mechanical room, uh, let's search mechanical, electrical mechanical. Okay, click OK. Then we have corridor, corridor transition. Okay, it's a telecom electrical. So these two spaces, these two are electrical mechanical, right? So you can select these two by ones. And you can define it in the building, electrical, mechanical. 
now we are left with the toilet rooms men's and women so i'll select these two toilets and i'll go to the space type and here the toilets will be with the name restrooms so restrooms click ok now go to the schedule now we have defined the space types for the spaces what kind of space now based on this based on the data these spaces are having right for example for office enclosed we have a data right associated with this the, uh, the people load the lighting load and the power load so all this data will be assigned to the respective load categories okay in the people lighting and power load the next thing what you can define in this one is the condition type what do you want you want to uh, cool this or heating right now we are cooling for uh, we are we are we are doing the cooling in this one in this uh, project so uh, let's say if i select the spaces let me make it cool but there are a few areas which we need to change like in the classroom, we need in the storage. In the storage, we make it as unconditioned. Similarly, for this storage as well, unconditioned. Reception, we need cooling, office, break room, mechanical room. Mechanical room is only natural ventilation. Okay, why we select natural ventilation? Because uh, we can ask for a for a louver in this mechanical room, okay, for the natural ventilation. Then we have corridor, corridor, when we need to cool, telecom, electrical rooms, yes, men's and women. These are the toilets, okay. So for toilet, for toilet, uh, these are being vented by exhaust fans. So I'll select vented, okay. So this is how you'll select the condition type, okay, as per your requirement. Now, uh, when you go to the people load, let's say, for example, people load, okay. So in the people load, you're not, uh, when you select this number of people, you're not able to change it. Why? Because occupancy unit is by space type. That is by space type. Okay. So if you want to change any number by yourself you can you have you can change it when you make it by number of people so once you make it number of people you can change it okay now there are some areas there are some areas where i want to define the occupancy because they have the architect has given us the furniture layout so where the architect has given us the furniture layout there we will define the occupancy okay like these classrooms, these are offices they, in this conference, they have given us the furniture layout. Okay. So we can uh, count the sitting areas, sitting chairs or whatever they have placed and we can define in the load schedule, right? Like in the classroom. So there are how many sittings are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 and 13 so 13 in both the in each classroom right so you can go to the space type i don't want to specify by space type i want to specify manually so for manually you can select number of people and you can select here 13 similarly for this one i don't want to use space type i want to specify by number of people make it as 13 now, what about the conference? So in conference also, they have given us the furniture layout. How many occupancy? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 7, 58, 59, 60. 
60 and a person standing somewhere over here. So you can consider uh, 62, let's say, for example, 62 I'm considering for this conference area, 62, number of people, 62. Storage, don't need because it's uh, an active storage. Reception. Go to the floor plan. Reception, there you see we have one, two, three. We can sit on this sofa. Three for this one, I'm assuming. Three plus three, uh, six and plus one, seven. Okay, so seven for the reception. So number of people, and I'm assuming seven. What about the offices? Offices, I can take one, two, same in one two and in this office one zero four three in office one zero four there are three rest is two number of people three in the rest two there are two okay in the break room break room we don't have any furniture layout we can leave it as it is for the mechanical room, we are not doing any ventilation, but uh, you can consider number of person one. Okay, because there is only one technician will be there in the mechanical room. Corridor we have to consider by the by the area only. So by space type it is okay. Telecom in the telecom no occupancy has to be considered. Just make it as zero. Similarly in elect. Uh, Electrical room, there's no occupancy. Or you can consider one, 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 one person. Okay, same in the telecom also you can take one. This you can ask from the from your electrical people that either there'll be one person or uh, there'll be it'll be in no occupancy in these areas. <laughs> Men's and women's by space type that is okay. <laughs> yeah. Now once you define the occupancy unit by your seating plans okay then you can see the load values here the load value is taken by space type so you you cannot change it when you click it you cannot change it right it is taken already by the space type how how many occupancy how many uh, how much heat heat gain per person for the lecture room for the conference for the reception area it has already taken by space type if you want to define your own values drop down this Click on specified. Now you can change. Like let's say I want to specify 400, 200, 400 plus 200, 600. Total it will take. So in that case, you can specify your own also. But we have to take by space type because this data is just, it is taking from Ashley standard. Okay. So this is how you'll define your people load. 